we're going to pretend today that I have an S corporation, right? And that I, uh, that I own a hundred percent of it so I can make all of the financial decisions if I want to. And Barb and I have our own personal 1040 and we want to make charitable gifts. So Adam, I tell you that I want to make a $10,000 gift to, um, to my church. Where should that come from? Well, I would tell you, I would direct you right back to one of the qualified uh, tax partners you got to get it exactly right, <laughs> uh, not being a CPA partner, but uh, I think it depends what type of entity that you have uh, in terms of where that gift should come from, uh, and it also depends on what your individual tax situation is, is like. Uh, you have different answers based on the entity and whether or not you're qualifying for a standard deduction. And this seemed to be like a pretty simple question. I got 10 grand. Yeah. I'm going to give it away. Do you want me to write it out of my FEG account or you want me to write it on my personal account? And I, and I'm not being harsh. What, what I want you guys that are listening to this to understand is he's as smart as anybody I know in the financial world. He's done this for 20 years. We take care of more than $680 million at the time of this recording. And he just sort of stuttered because you can't answer that question this quickly. There are too many moving parts. Even though the question appears simple, the solution is not. And the evidence that you need to be able to bring these things together to be able to make the decision is, is quite challenging. 